It's uh, Thursday the 17th. 17th of April. April. Of April. Um, you probably can't see in in shot what we got the roof on. On the. Uh, We're under the new part of yeah, the summer kitchen. The summer kitchen. Uh, this will have to be quite a short introduction because the battery is about to go dead on the camera. Um, so we'll probably do a, um, an end video tomorrow. So I, I doubt very much um, I'll get this video out today probably be out tomorrow um, so it'll be Friday um, really it's just summer kitchen stuff um, what else is in it I'm trying to think what, what's in it now um, it's mostly about the summer kitchen really yeah carrying on work on the summer kitchen getting the roof on so anyway <laughs> and Teresa's moaning because it's beer o'clock again incidentally if you come to Bulgaria on holiday or anything, oh. this is excellent. Wymenko, and this is the malt, 100% malt version. But it doesn't That's like it in plastic bottles. No. It's, yeah. it's in glass. It's, beer tastes nicer out of glass. It's still a lager, but it's almost sort of like halfway between a lager and a bitter. So it's, uh, so it's very nice. Um, Everything is growing like crazy now. <laughs> you, you can almost watch the vines growing. Um, grass, we cut. Well, I cut them on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, and I had to cut some of it again today. It's uh, we had overnight rain, and everything's just you, you, lots of rain. Yeah, this time time of the year, because it's warm. The moment you get rain, it's like just watching everything grow. <laughs> Quite incredible, isn't it? Here's how we did the roof and what we've got up to so far. We, what we've got up to so That's far. Did today. And it seems that I've got a, an extra day at home. Um, the job I was doing elsewhere took three days instead of four. <laughs> so uh, it's great for the clients, not so great for us, but it gives me an extra day at home. So I'm going to take the, um, the, the mould for the sides of the barbecue apart, carry on with the summer kitchen to try and get the roof on um, but while it's still is it's morning so before it gets too hot I'm gonna do a little bit of strimming and then come back to it um, I'm gonna need Teresa's help to do the roof and then I've got another little project that I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna start I'm just gonna suggest um, there was actually Beda who said about me having too many projects not Teresa um, so I sort of uh, blame Teresa for moaning at me for the number of projects but it's actually your fault Vida you're the one who moans but I I will get these projects all done um, anyway I'll show you the, the, the other project I have in mind for I've future day <laughs> Teresa said she's got a project cutting my hair so another project for the not too distant future is um, as I was saying in the last actually I don't know if I did say it in a video but what we do miss here is uh, decent cheddar cheese um, well just decent cheese really the Bulgarian cheese is lovely but it's basically two specific types uh, Cyrene just well Cyrene is cheese but the Cyrene white cheese and Kashkaval um, yellow cheese so you're basically limited to a sort of like a feta and like a almost flavorless yellow cheese that can be melted on for cheese on toast etc um, but doesn't have much flavor so anyway, behind my, or underneath my workshop, there's another cellar. And I've been trying to think what I could do with this space for quite a long time. So, it's quite a nice space. It's not very big. Um, hopefully the camera, yeah, I think the camera will pick it up in here. Obviously at the moment it's covered in cobwebs. Um, but it stays very constant temperature down here. I'm going to get a... Um, maximum and minus thermometer and just see how warm it gets over the next week 
it has got an earth floor which again makes it ideal um, because if I was to make if I was to seal the ceiling with some plastic sheets over the top of this it'll make it quite low but um, that will so I haven't got any dust dropping down and then make some shelves I think this will make a perfect cheese maturing room and wine cellar the earth floor is ideal because you can spray water over it which will help keep the humidity up and the temperature down um, not enough to make it soaking wet but just to keep it damp so every two or three days you can come down here with a watering can and just literally water the floor just to keep it wet or keep it you know keep them keep it moist keep the um, moisture levels in the room high enough um, obviously it needs a lot of, it needs cleaning um, like I say a full ceiling um, at the moment it's got lovely beams it's a shame in some ways but it needs to be sealed so that uh, you haven't got cobwebs hanging down and dust coming down every time I go up in the workshop up above but I think this will make a perfect space I think it was used for wine in the past because there were a couple of wine barrels in here um, you know a, a cradle there for holding a wine barrel um, so yeah perfect space while I'm down here or while I've got the gimbal on the camera or on the phone I'll just show you how everything's growing the grass is coming on need to cut hence I'm going to do some streaming in a minute we've got this is we plant I planted this last year little olive tree it survived the winter so hopefully that'll do okay it's a very funny shape I wasn't impressed when it came through the post but uh, it is what it is. This is a little fig that we dug up in uh, Orochettes, our friend Neil's. Um, hopefully that'll take. I won't know yet. That's where the tree came out, so I've got to do something with that just to tidy it up. Lots of bits of wood in that to clear up. So There's a lot of tidying to do. I'm a messy worker, so I've got all this lot to clear up as well. Um, these are vine cuttings that I took, they're all starting to bud and flower, so the idea with these is hopefully um, I can increase my, the number of vines without having to go out and pay for ex expensive ones, so I've got a mixture, these um, were from a vineyard down in uh, near Orochettes, um, they'd started pruning so I just literally took a load of the prunings off of the stack before they burnt it. Um, so I've no idea what varieties they are, but they're obviously it's from a, a proper vineyard, so there'll be wine grapes, but I've no idea what. Um, these are the lipper grapes. Um, this is my the one I make most of my red wine from, so hopefully some of those will take. I'm expecting about 50% or more not to make it, but as long as some do, that's fine. These ones aren't doing anything yet, but it's a different variety, so it might, they might just be later budding. So it's, it's about a week later, or a week since I've made the sides up, so I've now got to break them out of the mould and hope they, they're not cracked. <laughs> I've already taken this side off. I actually took this off slightly too early, that's why it's cracked away here.
bloody hell. Oh, cool. Handle bike. <laughs> Same will probably happen with this one. now is the, these wood inserts that I've used to make the slots where I screwed them down the screws have pulled out but they're going to be stuck inside the mould so they'll have to come out individually but at least it's come free These I'm going to have to chisel out individually. So the idea that's the inside of the inside of the grill. Now this is one of the beams, sort of in position. Um, what I've got to do now is is um, cut this off at the right angle so it sits a bit better than that. Um, it's very hard to be precise with this um, you know plenty of people out there who do beautiful jobs but I'm using an old bit of uh, sort of roughly 10 by 10 beam that we had which is all slightly different angles um, in other words if you look here it's not square and in different places it's different squares so it's all going to be slightly rough but the idea essentially, let's see if I can put the camera up, but the idea is to get it so it's sort of roughly correct when it drops down. So if I take across there, there's my angle, but then it's obviously it's going to drop very slightly more. So I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more than it is now. Now rightly or wrongly, I'm going to cut them all off at that angle. So they'll all fit pretty roughly right this is this isn't going to fit good here because th this that that would be kind of square you can't even see because this side isn't square but square on that is about that so you know there's quite a big chunk off of that but this is the worst portion F further along the beam it gets a, it gets far more square <laughs> I don't know if it's the sheep, we may want to put him in. Yeah, it is the sheep. Hang on. Dog on his look look out post.
right now I've got to mark all the other ones up. So as time. usual, nothing can be straightforward. I've just noticed standing up on the step ladders, um, measuring out how to hang these tiles, that the gap <laughs> at that end is completely different to the gap at this end. So when I put my row of tiles down, short of trying to refigure the whole roof, which I can't really do, I've got to bridge that gap down there. Now I think I'm going to be able to do it with gypsy tiles, or you know the old round tiles. Um, just trying to look and see. So if I was to plate these further down, if I was to place them like this, way round even. So obviously that you'd have two that way and one that, that way to bridge the gap that's down there. And then obviously I'll put ridge tiles along the top or, or concrete along the top. I think that'll do it. Short of taking all the roof off and doing the whole lot, I think that's the only way I can do it. It's kind of Make, make it up as I go along sort of thing, it's not, it's, uh, you certainly wouldn't pay, if I was a client paying a builder, <laughs> probably, probably get them to do the whole lot, take it off, redo it, but um, we're on a real budget, so I've got to try and just bodge things around and try and uh, come up with solutions. And every time I think I've got to the end of a problem, and or, you know, solve one problem, another problem appears. Anyway, I think that'll work. We'll see as we go along. this cementing of the other part of the kitchen. I've covered it over because the cats are jumping around. I don't want cat prints in it. Hopefully they won't go into that bit. But it's now beer o'clock and the unveiling of the copper cola. So I'm gonna take the strings off it, cut it open and see what it's like inside. Hopefully that'll be a nice piece of... So I didn't realise while I was uncovering all this that I wasn't actually recording it. So I'll have to do a imitation of cutting it in half again. <laughs> but you the did. results are superb. Why are they? Show Look you. at that. Wanna see? Yeah. Please. So there we go, homemade capicola. It's now Wednesday, 17th of April. <laughs> Is it April? April. Yeah. Apparently there's rain coming either late afternoon or tomorrow. So I need to get this finished. Um, because I've taken the tiles off this part of the summer kitchen and it's sort of like, uh, um, well, for a start, you've got this hardboard underneath. I don't want it all to get wet what and all the rubbish to sort of spill down so i need to get the tiles on i need to get battens and tile this part try and get all that done today <laughs>
So the reason I'm doing lots of head scratching <laughs> and uh, standing there thinking about it is a lot of this is just being done on the job. I haven't got a set of plans or anything. And where this curve goes over, here, this hoop, I'm going to have a plastic sheet. And the trouble is, some of it was above the um, roof, coming down at this angle. Some of it was above the roof tiles and some was below. So I've had to figure out how I'm going to do it. So I've cut off the, a steel piece that was coming across, across from here at an angle, which didn't work. Cut it off to there. I'm going to try and bend that piece up. Then when I put the hoop over, the plastic hoop over here, it's going to be cut off at this, on this layer here, it's going to be cut off at this level here, a little bit of gutter, but at the top half there, where it comes across, the plastic will be over the top of the, the roof. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to have to have a, a little... Um, bit of guttering, otherwise we're going to get leaks from all sorts of directions. <laughs> That's the plan. It's just a plan I'm making up as I go along, so hopefully it'll all work out. So this is somewhere else I had a change of heart. Um, instead of using these tiles and sort of doing a, um, you know, to try and bridge this gap, I bought some uh, tin, which wasn't particularly expensive. That plus some guttering came to 70 levs. About 35 pounds. It's still not ideal because I've had to find a bit of wood I can use as a um, to fix it down to, which I'm now fixing at this end with a bracket. The other end where it comes too tight, I can't continue this piece of wood, so I'm going to just use some batten. Um, it really is a budget and see job. So let's see. So the rain beat me. <laughs> um, yeah, rain stopped play as trees has just shouted out. Um, I haven't finished. I haven't got all the tiling done. Um, I would have done, but I had to go into town to get the tin to make for the ridge. Um, but I have tiled this this part up here, which I was worried about because it's uh, there's kind of a I don't know what you call it, like bamboo and mud packed above that and I didn't want that all to get wet so I've managed to get that done um, got this little bit done here just to stop it from all coming down ending up down in Teresa's uh, CDs uh, but I haven't managed to get all this done I've got the beams up and I've got the battens across um, so probably if it's not raining tomorrow, I've, I've got a job in the morning, but in tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, maybe I'll get the rest of the tiles on.
So like I said yesterday, or yesterday in the video, you come across problems as you do things. <laughs> um, we've been putting the tiles on this morning between rain showers. Um, I've left a gap there, that's where the, um, uh, the barbecue chimney's got to go up through. But I've got to adjust this bit here simply because I did those uh, 45 degree angles thinking it would look neater but totally forgot that I've got to put uh, guttering on this so if I did it the guttering would be like that so it would all spill out so I've got to just unscrew all these turn them over screw them back up again <coughs> so that I can put the uh, guttering on uh, tragedy the switch on the coffee machine is not working so I'm going to have to take that apart as well <laughs> um, I'm going to take those pieces of wood out and adjust the angle because even upside down it's still um, completely wrong so I'm just going to cut a little bit off the edge and then start again So that's just pretty much it for what I'm doing at the moment because um, I'm going to be doing some more in the summer kitchen over the weekend. Hopefully I'll get the barbecue sorted out. But we've now got the roof on. There's a few bits of extra to do. I've put this little piece of batten in there just as a support. Um, I want to actually have a beam. There's nothing. I'm terrible at explaining these things. There's nothing supporting these here other than where they're screwed into the beams up here. But there's quite a lot of weight with the tiles and then obviously once if you get snow or anything sitting on the top. So I want to get some more 8x10 and have a beam essentially running across here on two of these fully supported beams cantilevering across and holding the edge of that just giving it a bit of extra strength I mean it's pretty it is pretty strong but it's just to give it a bit of extra so the, we put the plastic in which is just going to give us a little bit more cover for the back door the idea now is that any water coming off of that roof hit this gutter 
come across there'll be another gutter at the bottom of the plastic sheet so that water doesn't just literally run in on here I mean it is a summer kitchen so a little bit of, of water on when it's raining really heavy is to be expected it's uh, it is after all an outside kitchen um, but obviously you want to try and avoid as much as you can um, I decided not to felt the underside of these tiles and people will say oh you should have started at the bottom of the eaves and work your way up but a lot of this um, it's all kind of trying to knit in different styles of tiles because it's just using leftover bits and pieces so we had two completely different style of tiles and also because that part's not supported if I'd have started at the bottom I wouldn't be able to get up to the top um, without sort of being on top of the roof which isn't ideal if the roof's not that strong so I sort of started from the top and worked down which makes it slightly more awkward but it works um, so there's another gutter here on the edge of the tiles I've got I haven't got the edge you know the sort of down pipes or anything sorted yet I just wanted to get the gutter up um, but I'll probably have down pipes into barrels to you know um, keep some of the water for the garden so I don't know if you can see so there's the let's see if I can go a bit higher I'll see if I can go a bit higher So there's the roof. I say it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Things I've got left to do is putting an edging board along here. Otherwise, the wind's going to get under those tiles and blow them off. Um, I've still got to finish cable tying the plastic sheet there, and obviously the barbecue to fit. Then this, these edge, these um, work surfaces have got to be tiled, and the walls all rendered. So that's about it for this video. Um, roof's on. Next stage is to get the barbecue up and made. Um, then I've got to put a little retaining bit here, just this high, so things that aren't always dropping off the back. Um, so there'll be a little bit of a delay in what we're doing here because we're off down to Orichette soon um, to do another week or so of work um, for Neil. Mm -hmm. uh, but then... Get to oh, see my ninja twins. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> the cats. Um, when we're back, we'll crack on with this. Well, we, we'll get some more of this done before we go. We will. Look at this cat. He's loving me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've been strimming, um, the vines are starting to put shoots out now so I've done a little bit of tying back. Um, I haven't in this video, I, on the last video I said that I'd show you a bit more of the solar water heater. Um, we haven't had time. I just haven't had time. I've, I, well I've only, Goodbye. the other thing is I've only just That's broken okay. off the, well, <clears throat> now I've got the sides of the um, barbecue made that's released the bit of wood that I'm going to use as the as the back for the box that the pipe works going to go in um, but I need to buy <coughs> oh excuse me I need to buy um, a plank of wood for the, um, the side, the, of, the the summer side kitchen. of the summer kitchen up yeah. here but I also need some planks or a plank of wood what to cut doing? down to make the sides <laughs> <laughs> to make the sides of the um, soda water heater and then obviously I've got some plastic or plexiglass to put on top uh, anyway that will definitely be coming up I'm sure that will be in the next video yeah we've also got your sister coming over and she's counting down the weeks Frida yeah yep. she's coming over in May middle of May um, can't come, come quick enough can't come quick enough we had a visitor today we did um, so, Our friend Dave. Yep, yeah, so David. Um, he and his wife Pam have n now moved back to the UK. Hi, um, I, I think on health, health grounds. Yeah. Um, so he he's been been over to 
prepare his house to sell. So if anybody's looking for a nice house, uh, house in Popina, isn't it? Popi uh, yeah, it's Popina. Is it yeah. Popina or Popovo? No, no, no not Pollyanna. No, it's Popina. Popina. Uh, near Silistra, not to be confused with the... Uh, <laughs> not to be confused Cats with... Cats want their tea. Popovo near Targa Vista. Yeah. Um, it's a very nice house, nice garden. You know. Beautifully done. He's done lots of work. Yeah, they've, they've, got, yeah. they've done a nice job on it. And there's a few English in the village, if anyone wants to be near English. Yeah. Speaking people. Yeah. So anyway, I've, I've no idea of the details of how much he wants or anything like that. But if you're if interested. If anybody's interested, I'm sure we can get the details for yeah. you. I think that's it. Yeah. So we'll say goodbye until the next time. Yeah. Bye from me. Bye from me. Bye from Colin. Ciao, ciao. And Clive. <laughs> and Dex. And Dex. <laughs>